time to open up a refurbished PS5 from GameStop, but I don't just mean unbox it, we're going deep inside of it. Today, I want to talk a bit about our goals for the PlayStation 5 hardware and how they influenced the development of the console. Skip it up and that up! Review hair on my blue mat USA is here today. Uh, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and uh, dissection of a PlayStation 5. I think I got a PlayStation 5 with the disc drive. Not the slim, it was the regular one. Refurbished from GameStop. Hey everyone, Rich of the Future here that's uh, editing as we speak right now. I realized that I didn't mention until way later in the unboxing that I didn't get the disc drive PS5. I got the refurbished from GameStop PS5 digital edition. That was 440 bucks ish making this even more ridiculous. But anyway, back to the original video. Just wanted to add that in. Enjoy. Now, as I get my box, oh, oh God. As I get my box, I want to say that the people that worked at that GameStop were exceptionally awesome, super nice people. It was funny at first, they only I thought I thought they only had a used uh, PS5. And used means they just they plug it in, they turn it on, they see if it works. And I was like, eh, I want to see what your refurbishing department does. And they were like, yes, we have a refurbished one. Now this was 440 bucks before tax. At that point, just spend the extra 50 and then get a warranty on a brand new one. But needless to say, these exist, they sell them. And as you see, I'm a man and I'm gonna open one up. So this, that's the console, we'll open that later. Or we'll take it out of the box later. Let's see what it comes with here. Obviously, I'm gonna guess all the normal crap you would get with a new. So we got our, We got our HDMI cable. It's an HDMI cable. Got your power cable. We very exciting. I am rock hard holding that power cable. You have your USB-C to charge your controller. You got your OG base. Does it have the screw? Ah, yes, okay, there you go. Has the screw, very nice, the screw. Okay, so, so far, so good. Let's feel the controller because the controller is always Textured grip has like a little bit of the rubber ripped on it. That's great. Okay. Um, all the buttons are clicking though, and nothing is getting stuck. So there's that. All right. Dual Sense controller, I think, passes the test. Imagine I recorded all that and you didn't see a thing. That would be awesome. All right. Anything else in this box here? Nope. All right. So the main event. What everyone wants to see. Oh. PS5. Hmm. What? Why do you... GameStop, stop doing this. Stop doing this. All right, get, I don't know why there's a pink nipple here. They, they put a pink nipple, probably meaning that they tested this thing. Why do you, like, not a soul. They do this stupid thing with shiny plastic. They did it on the One X I reviewed that was refurbished. Like, they do this thing where they use, like, a magic eraser mr clean magic eraser and it just looks gross it just it wasn't even what the hell happened <laughs> can you see that what did a did a, a gorilla try to put the yo did those usb ports even work dude let me see do they even like are they gonna flop everything out Feels like I should be getting some kind of connection there. Okay, what about the USB-C port? And to the person who owned this before, even if it was a kid, like, it's it's very simple. You take the plug and you put it in the hole. Look, look how simple that is. I didn't have to go. It actually, it looks worse in real life than it does. It's actually pretty ridiculous. I mean, who gives a shit? If they work, they work. The USB-C and USB-A ports, but Jesus Christ, like how hard is it to like get it in right the first time? Where they like 
plugging in their controllers and other peripherals in the dark. Anyway, all right, so we have our HDMI. Looks, well, even there's like a little bit of like where, like what the hell happened? It's an HDMI for. Unless you're moving the console once every like day, like you plug it in, it even looks like it's a little crooked. How? What? How do people do this to their stuff? How do you? Like, it's a console. You. It's not a portable. You plug it in, and that's it. It's over. Or it should be. All right. So let's see. So how does that feel? Um, not great. Now, this is the cable that's hooked up to my capture setup. Nice and loosey goosey. That's the way it should be. That's that always instills confidence in me. All right. So let's try the other USB ports in the back. Feels fine. Good grip. Feels fine. Do I have a LAN cable hanging around? So the USB ports here. Can you see them? I'll put it here. Feel good. They actually feel tighter than the one in front, which is to be expected because if you're going to be plugging stuff in and out of a USB port, it's going to be either the A or C in front. I still wish the Slim had one A in front too, but here is a ethernet cable plug it into the ethernet port nice good solid click there wow oh hey here's something i just noticed it's this is the digital edition all right cool i don't have to worry about uh i don't need I just realized before, right before I filmed this video, I don't own a single PS4 or PS5 game. So cool. I, I don't need to worry about that. Um, before I take off the side panels, that'll be, we're actually going to take this down to the motherboard. We're not going to take off the cooler. It has liquid metal in here. But uh, let me just put it together and, and make sure it works. All right, moment of truth. I have, this is the first time I'm powering on the refurbished PS5 Slim or PS5 Digital Edition. I'm so confused with the names. Anyway, here, button. Okay. That is a good sign. So it at least is booting up. That's a start. Now let's see if something actually shows up on the screen. All right, so I am playing the Demon Souls remake on the refurbished GameStop PS5 <laughs> Digital Edition. Oh boy. Was trying to do better with uh, parrying this time. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, so I've been playing for about 20. Oh, say shh. Oh, hey, shh. Hey, shh. Hey, 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 All right, so it's safe to say at least this PS5 is functional, but was it actually refurbished? <laughs> We're going to find out. It's time for. Senior Masuchi to crack this baby open. So just to start with, make sure I'm focused on it. Fan seems clean, but that doesn't mean they still cleaned up the inside of it. So if I did, they did open it because you can see right there that someone took this apart by that seal being broken. So. Told you. Remember, I told you you should. Uh, I told my dad, I was like, oh, there's no dust in the fan. Maybe we should don't have to open it. There is some dust on the heat sink. Can't see in there with the camera, but we'll take it. <laughs> so they didn't do it. They probably didn't do anything. Let's keep going. I knew it. I yeah. knew it. Look at, look at that screw head. Looks like uh, <laughs> Quantum TV was in here. If you don't know who Quantum TV is, I'll. Uh, I'll, have, I'll try to have a clip of what he did to the screw on his uh, PlayStation 5 SSD. So they hired Quantum at uh, GameStop to take out the SSD screw. Congratulations. Breastfeed it. This screw strips so incredibly easily. Look at that. Just look at how easy it strips. old power supplies because I can see the inductors and see the caps they're heat sinking all of this which is pretty cool 
in terms of... So what's over here again? You can see that this is probably all different power supply volt and they heat sunk through the pads, the capacitors and the chips that drive. So they these even are all the different power supply voltages right here? Probably. Okay. All right, so, I mean, this looks pretty damn clean. All right, let's take a see. I think it's take a let's take a see. Let's take a look. Um it's a little bit of dust. There's a little bit of dust in there. But this would have ran just fine just the way it is. This is the power supply. Let's see what that looks like. I'm looking in the slots. I mean there's some surface dust, but it, it's I could tell you if there's it's dust right here, they probably didn't know. They probably were like, all right, this thing is good. I will bet they didn't take this apart. No, 100% they didn't take it apart. Mm -hmm. All right, so this was fairly clean inside. Now, whether it was because games... I mean, they definitely went into it, you saw before. But was it because it was lightly used or was it because GameStop actually refurbished it? I'm not going to buy another one to find out, but... You would have to buy every one they ever took in just to find out what extent they go through to yeah well they definitely did a better job than dk oldies but that's not saying much where do you see the scratches show me over here this when, once these four screws are out this pops apart so somebody's used something to get in there all right yeah you could see where it was pried yeah it's on both sides all right there are the carbon pads as you see there's wear but they are clean so someone definitely went in this controller and did some work controller is in pretty good shape is that game stops doing who knows did the person really never used the controller who knows but they definitely went in there and did something, so I will give them kudos. So the PS5 refurbished digital edition from GameStop, I don't care that I said that out of order, the refurbished PS5 digital edition from GameStop, it, it's a thing that exists. I don't really know why. I mean, as you saw, it, it's fine, it's a little rough around the edges near the USB-C port in front, and GameStop, for the love of Christ, Stop sanding down glossy finishes. It looks worse than if there's scratches on there. But all in all, it really does seem like GameStop went inside of here, checked the console, and cleaned it up. Or it just was never really used that much. And an orangutan uh, had its way with the USB-C port. Needless to say, it looked like they went inside of it and did something. But the problem with it is, well, there's two major problems. One, I don't feel comfortable with how loose this HDMI port is. I get that someone there tested it and they saw a picture, but with how loose that is, I wouldn't have passed it. I'm telling you, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when that eventually fails. I, I mean, it works fine. We put it back together. My dad put it back together and it works fine. But the second thing is, why would you buy this use, this digital edition, when you could buy the newer one now for $3.99? And it comes with a game. You could buy the PS5 Slim Digital Edition with Spider-Man 2 for $50. Wow. $40-ish less than this. I'm bad at math. So you're spending less money and getting a new product. And with this, you're spending more money and getting a used product that I promise you its lifespan has been shortened. No, no, no. It's one of the better refurbished products I've seen, but it's still not worth it. You're spending more to get something that's worse. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.